Hello student, in this video, we will be learning about Armstrong method. Now we are going to discussing about the indirect method or Armstrong method. What is the indirect or Armstrong method, sir? In indirect or Armstrong method, first we are generating the NBFM signal. Now that uh, NBFM signal, we are passing through a proper frequency multipliers. Then that frequency multipliers will convert them as a wide band FM. So first we will see the block diagram of a Armstrong method or indirect method, then we will follow. So coming to the block diagram, first what we are doing? First we are generating NBFM signal. Coming to this NBFM signal, means NBFM signal in the sense, first I am taking the NBFM modulator. For any modulator, what are the two inputs we need to give? One input is message, another input we need to give the carrier signal C of t. So what is the carrier we are taking? Of course, AC cos 2 pi of CT and for the generation of carrier student and for the generation of carrier what, what we are using? Crystal oscillator. So symbolically, I am showing that this is our C of t. Now both are given to NBFM modulator. What is the output you will get? Output will be the NBFM signal students. Now how this NBFM signal we are converting as a wide band FM signal? we are giving to a proper frequency multiplier. Then what is the output of a frequency multiplier? Will be our wide band FM signal. And what is that frequency multiplier? Frequency multiplier is nothing but a non-linear device followed by a proper band pass filter. Now I am writing the frequency multiplier block diagram. What will be there inside the frequency multiplier I am saying? Non-linear device followed by a band pass filter. So now first I will explain you, of course this is the block diagram of a non-linear device followed by the band pass filter means this is the block diagram of a frequency multiplier. Means it is going to the multiplying the frequency. This is the frequency multiplier. Now first I will explain you how frequency multiplier is working. Now first I will explain you how the frequency multiplier is working and then, and then I will show you if I give NBFM signal to a frequency multiplier, how it is becoming as a wide band FM signal. For that understanding, suppose let me take here some input V1, here some input V3, V2, here some output V3. Now let us assume. V1 is nothing but some cos omega t I am taking. Means at the input of this frequency multiplier, I take in the frequencies omega. Now, how the output is coming? Let's see how the frequency is going to be multiplying. We already know what is the input output relation of any nonlinear device. The input output relation of any nonlinear device is V2 equal to a1 V1 plus A2 V1 square. This is the input output relation of a non-linear device. Are you getting my point or not? Now, substitute the V1 here. Then, V2 is nothing but A1 into, what is the V1? Substitute students, cos omega t plus a2 into cos square omega t 
plus still I can take plus a3 into v1q plus and so on. That is the input output of a non-linear device. Plus some a3 into cos cube omega t plus and so on. Are you getting my point? Now, this is nothing but a1 cos omega t as it is I am writing. Second term, if you are observing, that is a cos square term. Second term is a cos square term. Cos square term can be written as a 1 plus cos 2a. So, a by 2 plus a by 2 into cos 2 omega t plus. What is the cos cube we can write? Try to recall a cos 3a formula. What is cos 3a formula? Cos 3a formula. 3 cos a minus 4 cos is cube a will be the cos 3a formula. But what is here? Cos cube is there. Are you able to follow or not? I am writing here. Cos 3a formula is 3 cos a minus 4 cos cube a. Now I want cos cube a. I am sending this side. So this term will be this side. 3 cos a minus cos 3a divided by 4. So it will be a3 by 4 into cos, sorry, 3 cos a minus a3 by 4 into cos 3a. 3 means 3 omega t, of course a means here omega t. Plus and so on we are having the infinite number of side lines, uh, sorry, infinite number of terms. Now this is given where sir? This is given to band pass filter sir. This is given where, sir? This is given to band pass filter, sir. So, we know what is the input frequency we given. We know what is the input frequency is given. Are you understanding my point? So, after knowing the input frequency, depending upon our requirement, suppose I want frequency multiplier of gain 2, for example. Frequency multiplier will have some gain. For example, gain 2. Now I will design the band pass filter in such a manner that it allows only 2 mega term. Because omega we already know. So I will design the band pass filter to pass only 2 mega. Suppose if it is a frequency multiplier of gain 3, I will design the band pass filter in such a manner that it allows only 3 omega term. So here depending upon our requirement, I can design our frequency multiplier in such a manner that see input what I given sir cos omega t is given sir input is cos omega t what is the output sir depending on our requirement suppose it is a frequency multiplier of k into we are getting cos 2 omega t don't bother about the constant suppose if the k in 3 cos 3 omega t Suppose if the gain is n, cos n omega t. This is the input output relation of a frequency multiplier. Simple, listen. The frequency multiplier output also the same. Don't bother about the multiplying constants. We are discussing with the frequencies. The frequency multiplier output also same, but the total angle but the total angle of the input is multiplied there respect to gains. If the gain is 2, cos 2 omega. Gain is 3, 3 omega, n and omega. So finally, frequency multiplier output is whatever may be the input you given, total angle is going to be multiplying with the n. Total angle is going to be multiplying with the n. Are you understanding my point or not? Now follow. What is the input we given to the frequency multiplier, sir? Generally, it's a frequency multiplier of gain n, sir. What is the input we are giving to the frequency multiplier, sir? We are giving NBFM signal. What is the NBFM means? Beta value less than 1. I am writing the single tone expression, which is AC cos. 2 pi fct plus beta sin 2 pi fmt. But here, 
beta value is less than 1 because it is a narrow band. Now this is given to where frequency multiplier of gain n. Then what is that frequency multiplier output? Frequency multiplier output is AC cos. Total is multiplied with n. So it is 2 pi FCT plus beta sin 2 pi FMT. I multiply AC into cos 2 pi into NFCT plus N into beta N beta sin 2 pi FMT. Now try to see there. What is the input carrier frequency, sir? Fc. What is the output, sir? Nfc. What is the input modulation index? Beta. Output is N beta and message signal frequency fm, here also same fm. So, what is the new modulation index we got, sir? Of course, I am calling some beta dash, which is n beta. We already known beta is less than 1. Uh, what is n, sir? Gain. Gain is in our hands. I can cascade the number of frequency multipliers in such a manner that to get a required gain, that gain is multiplying with our modulation index previous value in NBFM, then the total value we can make how much we want. Of course, I am saying simply greater than 1. If it is greater than 1, this is becoming as a wide band FM. So, this NBFM is converted as a wide band FM. Are you getting my point? So, if you look into that, frequency multiplier of gain some n, what is the input side and output side we will see students. Input and output. What is the input carrier frequency? Fc sir, but coming to the output, it is coming as Nfc sir. Input side modulation x beta sir, output side n beta. Input side message signal frequency fm, here also fm. Suppose if I input side frequency deviation is delta f, frequency deviation is delta f, what about the output? Output will be delta f or n delta f or delta f by n. Please respond. Yeah. Delta f, okay. Someone is saying uh, n delta f, okay. Someone is saying delta f by n. Oh, see. Actually, beta formula is delta f by fm. Here, beta becoming what? n times. Beta becoming what? n times. No changes in fm. No changes in fm. So, delta f also should be n times. Delta f also should be n times. So, fc will be nfc. Beta will be n beta. Fm will be same as it is, but delta f will be n delta f. Where n is the gain of that frequency multiplier. These are important. And objective questions are asking. So, finally, in, white by, in uh, indirect method or Armstrong method, what we are doing? We are first generating NBFM signal and then we are converting into white band by using a frequency multipliers. Coming to this Armstrong, one interesting story also there. He is an American engineer. So, most of in life, in his life, what is the MOT he earned? All the amounts are gone for a court fees to getting the patents for the frequency modulation. So after that uh, patents came, is no more, but his wife got crores of amounts because of the patents from the frequency modulation. As the name of him, we given the indirect method or Armstrong method. Clear? Here only the point come the indirect method is we are using crystal oscillator to get a stable FC. Their stable FC is not possible. And what is the frequency multiplier operation? And remember this expression, input-output relations. See the next problem. Consider a NBFM signal S of t equal to 10 cos 2 pi into 10 power 60 plus 0.4 sin 2 pi into 10 cube t. 
the signal is passed through a cascade of frequency multipliers having a gain 2 and 5 respectively as shown in below. Determine carrier frequency Fc, beta, modulation x, bandwidth at each of the multiplier, at each multiplier. Means here I have to calculate, here I have to calculate. At the input side, what we are having, sir? Input side carrier frequency, see the expression. This is the expression of FM. What is the single tone expression of FM, sir? Which is nothing but AC cos 2 pi FCT plus beta sin 2 pi FMT, sir. Expression number 12. Try to compare. What is the FC value? 1 mega. What is beta value? 0.4. What is the FM value? Compare there. 1 kilo. And these are the things we are having. Now we need to calculate output of each frequency multiplier. Follow. I already told that at the input output relations of a frequency multiplier. Huh. Here first one if I take FC1 output. Output of frequency multiplier input will be multiplied by gain. Gain is 2. 2 into 1, 2 mega. What about modulation index? Here I am saying beta 1, there beta 2 I will say. Modulation index also multiplied by n times. n is 2. 2 into 0.4 will be 0.8. And there is no changes in FM because the input output of a relation of a frequency multiplier, message signal frequency does not change. What is the additional one he asked, sir? Bandwidth, sir. Still beta is 0.8 means still it is a narrow band FM. Narrow band FM bandwidth formula is 2 FM, 2 into 1K, so that is 2 kilo H. Got my point? Yeah. Comes to here, sir. Comes to the second frequency multiplier. Let's take FC2, sir. Here gain is 5, sir. So 5, 2, sir, 10 mega. What about the modulation index, sir? 5 into 0.4 is 4, sir. Next, is there any change in FM, sir? There is no change in FM. The same value, which is nothing but 1K, sir. Are you understanding my point? Now, <clears throat> what is the bandwidth? It is a wide band. Wide band means 2 times beta plus 1 into FM, sir. That is 2 times beta plus 1. Beta value 4, 4 plus 1 into FM. FM value will be how much 1K? So 5, 5, 2, sir, 10K. That is the bandwidth. We calculated each and every frequency multiplier. The input output relations you need to understand. I am repeating one more time. Fc will be nfc, beta will be n beta, fm will be same fm, delta f will be n delta f. See the next problem. One of the excellent problem in designing of the indirect method. A block diagram of an indirect fm transmitter is shown below. Compute the maximum frequency deviation delta f at of the output of a FM transmitter here and the carrier frequency FC. He given F1 value 200k. F1 means for where we are giving here NBFM, here we are giving F1. F1 value 200k, local oscillator FLO 10.8 mega, delta F1 in starting 25, hedges N1 value 64, N2 value 48. We already know what is the overall delta F value, sir. Overall delta F value is initial value, which is having here, of course, delta F1. And what is the first multiplier gain? What is the second multiplier gain? Because here the point you need to understand, I will specify the original concept of introduction of mixer also. Mixers are used for frequency conversion, either to up conversion or down conversion. Either to up conversion or down conversion. Are you understand? Mixer does not change any frequency deviation. What is the introduction of this also? I will explain you wait. What is the delta F1, sir? Initial value 25, 
What is the N1, sir? 64. What is the N2, sir? 48. Calculate, you will get 76.8 kilo Hs you will get. Delta F means Hs. Now, first try to calculate what is here the value, F2. Can I say F2 is nothing but N1 into F1? The frequency multiplier output N times. What is the N1 value? 64. What is the F1 value? 200K. 64 to 128. So 128 I am keeping as a 12.8. So additional 0 will come. Two zeros. Q, another Q. So 12.8 mega H. This is given where, sir? Given to the mixer. What is the output of a mixer, sir? Out output of a mixer is here F2, na? F2 plus or minus FLO. Mixers are used for frequency conversion. Mixers are used for frequency conversion. I can say mixer output is mixer output is for example if I take addition what is this FLO value? 10.8 so one possibility is F2 plus FLO, another possibility is F2 minus FLO. F2 plus FLO means F2 value how much I got? 12.8. What is the FL value? 10.8. This is also mega only given. So 12.8 plus 10.8, 23.8. Oh, sorry, 23.6. No? Yeah. 23.6 mega. Minus means 12.8 minus 10.8, then it will be 2 mega. So, what is the F3 having two possibilities 23 and 2? This is about the F3. Now, what is the final FCC? Final FC also will have two possibilities based on this. Suppose if I take this value, which is 23.6 mega into N2. This value means 2 into N2. What is the N2 value, sir? He given 48. 48 into 23.6, you will get 1132 mega, sir. 1132. Point some 6 you will get. Because this is uh, 8, 8464, so 4 will come, 4 mega. And this is 2 mega, of course 2 means 2 mega. 2 mega into 48. So, 96 mega. These are the two possibilities for the carrier frequency. Why it came? Because of the mixer. Generally, what is the introduction of this mixer concept is students? Do you know? The concept is here. Already in the indirect method I told, we are not using crystal oscillator for getting standard frequency, standard carrier. So, in this NBF means what we are using here is a crystal oscillator. Crystal oscillator minimum starting frequency itself is 1 mega H. 1 mega H. If I use such a type of frequency multipliers, it is becoming as a like. If I take addition, it is becoming as a like. Thousands of mega Hs will come. But a practical FM range is from 88 to 108. But why we need to take such type of gains? Because the deviations are small. So we are keeping the frequency multipliers to bring up or get deviation more. If I use further frequency multipliers to bring our deviation of approximately 75 has to come. So for that one, we need to use the higher gains. But because of higher gains, frequency is also becoming lots of value. But practical FM range is less. So what we are using is by using mixer, what we are using is down conversion only you are using. So we will make a properly down convert that and bringing back to our range which is 88 to 108. The intention of keeping high gain is to get a deviation proper value. Because of that our frequency also increasing. Because in crystal minimum carrier minimum frequency we will get 1, key, 1 mega. So to bring our proper we are going for down conversion. Why down conversion in mixer, sir? To bring our required value. Whether they mentioned or not, practically down conversion only. One of the excellent problem in designing of indirect method. 
See the next problem. One of the different kind of problem. Assume that 10.8 megahertz signal, 10.8 megahertz signal in the below figure, 10.8 megahertz signal in the below figure derived from 200 kilohertz oscillator. Multiplication factor is 54. And the 200 kilohertz oscillator drift, this oscillator drift, drift means change is 0.1 hertz, sir. He gave drift is 0.1 hertz. First question, find the drift in the 10.8 megahertz signal. Try to see. First question. Find the drift in the 10.8 megahertz signal. This is a 10.8 megahertz signal. How much is the drift? Here drift is 0.1. This is going to be a frequency multiplier. So drift also multiplied by that many number of times. 0.1 into 5, 54. So 5.4 h is the first question. What is the second question, sir? Find the drift in the carrier of the resulting signal. So here I need to calculate, follow. Here drift is 0.1. This is given here, 5.4. The same is given to NBFA modulator and another frequency multiplier. Here a drift, a drift is 6.4. This drift multiplied by this one. What is this, sir? This is not multiplier, sir. This is a mixer. What conversion we are using for mixer in the previous problem? I told down conversion. Here drift to 6.4 minus this drift, which is nothing but 1. Now, this drift is going to be final means here FC. This drift is going to be multiplied with this frequency multiplier. 1 into 48. So, 48 Hs is the drift in the final FM signal. Here drift means only it's so multiplied one frequency, one frequency multiplier 0.4. So here you need to 48 here 5. That is the question. Drift also multiplying by frequency factor means n times it will happen. N into drift. 